Thanks for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. The Older Vermonters Act of 2020 calls on the state of Vermont to create a plan on aging that builds an age friendly state. The act envisions a coordinated system of services, supports and protections for older Vermonters. The state is currently in the process of developing the plan called Age Strong Vermont. With Older Americans Month being celebrated throughout May, state leaders are raising awareness about the planning effort and encouraging Vermonters to speak up with their thoughts and ideas for the plan. To learn more, we've called on the director of Vermont's Adult Services Division, Angela smith Jang. Good afternoon, Angela, and thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Um, so I'm, I'm going to start by asking you about Older Americans Month. As I understand it, it started as Senior Citizens Month when President Kennedy established the designation in 1963. President Ford officially changed the name to Older Americans Month in 1976. Why is this history important and, and what's the purpose of the designation of May as Older Americans Month? Yes, so Older Americans Month has been going on for about 60 years now. It's a time to celebrate and honor older adults in our communities, recognizing the lifetime of contributions that they have provided, and also really a time to challenge stereotypes and confront ageism, recognizing that aging um, can be an opportunity. Um, it can be a time for new engagement. And so let's engage older adults in our communities now as well. Okay, and there are certainly a lot of them in Vermont. <laughs> we'll get to that. And, and, and so with that background and perspective, let's focus our discussion squarely on, the, on our state, the state of Vermont. Um, talk, uh, tell us what Age Strong Vermont is, this new plan. Right, so I'm really excited about this new plan. It's looking out 10 years um, and what it will take to create an age-friendly state. So it's a multi-sector plan we're working on developing right now. It's a roadmap for creating an age-friendly state, a state where we all thrive as we age. So it's, it's not just about services for older adults or older Vermonters. It's about making sure that every state agency, all sectors, all communities are inclusive of older adults. So thinking about healthcare, housing, transportation, finances, safety and security, education and family. It really touches all aspects of our lives and what can we do as a state and as systems to ensure that older Vermonters are able to thrive. So you've been working on this plan for a, a while now. Um, and, and again, what's the impact that you would like to make as, as, as you, you know, finish this up and, and, and start, uh, I, I guess, implementation in, in a little bit, hopefully. First, there's engagement. Yes, exactly. So we started um, we started last year with really looking at, um, at at the system currently. And so, how are Vermonters aging now? What's going well? What's working well? What's not working well? Or where are the gaps? So we we did some analysis. We've gathered data. We've been speaking to older Vermonters through a survey and through listening sessions. Um, and we still want to get more, more feedback as we move into uh, actually drafting objectives and strategies for the plan. You know, why is this important? What impact are we trying to make? Vermont is the second oldest state in the nation. We're all getting older. We want to live full and healthy lives at every stage of our life as, as we age. So how do we do that as a state? How do we adapt our systems, you know, our systems of healthcare, our systems of transportation or the workforce to meet our changing needs of both today's and tomorrow's older Vermonters? You know, these are these are big issues, but that the plan is working to, to try to address. And hopefully if we're successful, it will have a real impact both on the way we do business as a state and on our, our lives as we're aging. So you have been uh, talking to a good number of people and you want to um, continue to include more, but who has been involved in developing uh, the Age Strong Vermont plan? Who are those key partners? 
Right. So certainly the Agency of Human Services, where I work at the Department of Disabilities, Aging and Independent Living, we're playing um, a lead organizing role along with our sister agency, the Department of Health, as we think about population health. Um, but we're joined on our steering committee by um, the Community of Vermont Elders, AARP Vermont, the Association of Area Agencies on Aging, and then many state agencies are involved, like mm -hmm. Department of Labor, Agency of Commerce and Community Development, Agency of Transportation, et cetera, along with many, many community partners that are serving older adults in, in a variety of ways. So, so within that, um, how are you ensuring that age uh, strong Vermont, that the plan is equitable and inclusive of all older Vermonters? Yeah, that's a really important question and a really key part of this work is creating a plan that is both equitable and inclusive. So we've been trying to be intentional about having older adults from different backgrounds, both on our advisory committee and involved in the plan development. So they're, they're sitting right at the table with us, helping draft those goals and objectives. We're also doing focus groups with specific communities um, to ensure that all voices are heard in the plan. And finally, we're working on a process to review this plan strategies to ensure that they do move us towards equity and don't inadvertently leave some people behind. So what are some of the issues and goals that have risen to the top that you know, you, you're really working on tackling? Right, so one thing we've been hearing a lot um, from older Vermonters is it's difficult to um, to navigate our systems, mm. whether you're, um, you know, have an, an, a new diagnosis in the family of Alzheimer's or dementia, or whether you're trying to uh, downsize and um, move move into a different type of housing. These systems are complicated. It's difficult to navigate. You don't always know where to start. And so that's one thing that we're, we're hoping that um, the plan will be able to, to help us address as a state is really trying to simplify this, the system and help people find, find what they need more quickly um, and be able to, to navigate that more easily. Well, there are more than 175,000 Vermonters ages 65 and up. We're, we're nearing the one third of the population. So how, how do you want this plan to make a difference in people's day-to-day -day lives? Maybe some yeah. examples. Um, yes, so I don't, you know, the plan is not going to have an immediate impact. It's looking out long-term, mm -hmm. but hopefully, eventually, the plan will allow that overall increase in access. So access to services, access to employment, access to opportunity and social connection, which we know are really so important for, um, for staying healthy and well as we age. So as an example, we know now that 60% of older adults report facing age discrimination in the workplace mm. at a time when we need really, we need more workers. And we certainly want to encourage older Vermonters to work if they want to, and we don't want them to face any added barriers. So that's something we can change, and that would help a lot of people. So ultimately, we're hoping there will be, through the plan, there will be more choices for people. Well, that's the outcome we're, we're hoping for, along with um, louder voices. So more engagement of older adults along the way. Well, and I also read on, on your website that 34,000 um, are over 60, who are over 60 are living alone. And, and twice as many women as, as men. Isolation is clearly also an issue that, that seems to have risen to the top. How are you looking at dealing with that? Yes, so one, we, what we've done so far in, uh, as we're thinking about the development of the plan is we have been broken, broken up into subcommittees and we're working on objectives and strategies. One subcommittee is squarely focused on social connection and engagement. So addressing social isolation and loneliness, um, recognizing that that is, a, that is really a key. And so how do we, um, find ways for people to engage in whatever way that they want to, whether it be 
being able to access a local senior center, being able to access technology to participate in things online, um, whether that be arts or entertainment or um, parks and rec. We need all, all parties involved to be able to do that, but definitely um, addressing social isolation is, is a key part, will be a key part of the plan. So um, it, I wanna make sure we get to information and how um, people can get involved if they're kind of like, oh, this is interesting. I, I, I have some ideas for, <laughs> um, for Angela. If Vermonters are interested in learning more or sharing their thoughts or ideas, which I know you're encouraging for Age Strong Vermont for the plan, what can they do? Right, so we've created um, a website landing page where people can learn more and then connect with us. It's um, at www.healthvermont.gov forward slash age strong VT. Um, so on that website, people will be able to uh, learn more, read more, kind of learn some more of the background of where this plan came from, and then be able to um, submit their thoughts and ideas, concerns, um, whatever it might be um, to contribute to the planning effort. They can also just email us to at agestrongvt at vermont.gov. Okay, and, and as we know, Vermonters are notorious for not asking for help, um, but you really want people's ideas. How, how do you encourage people to just go to your website and really let, let, let us know or, or in other ways to connect? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this won't be the only opportunity to to contribute. Um, in the listening sessions we did, we heard from about 100 different Vermonters across the state um, about what they would like to see for themselves for aging well and what that means to them and what they what they need and what they want. Um, and we want to hear from more Vermonters related to that. Absolutely. Every voice is important in this work. Um, so reach out to us now, reach out to us later. Um, it'll be an evolving process. The plan is a, will be you know, ongoing over time. So ongoing feedback will be really important. And uh, quickly, Angela, if, if viewers want to get help just around aging issues, what, what is the number for them to call? Yeah, always um, important to share this as well. So I think the two best places to start are through the Area Agencies on Aging Helpline. They can help with a variety of um, of issues related to aging, and their number is 1 800 642 5119. Great. Angela, we, we are out of time. Check in with uh, Angela's the health department. Thank you so much for talking about the plan today. You're welcome. Thank you. And once again, thank you for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. Stay well. <laughs>